Dear students, how are you? Hopefully, you all are doing well. This is Amit Shah, lecturer, Department of Mathematics, Milestone College. Today, our discussion topic is Chapter 8.2. It is in your status part. Dear students, you have already understand that status is totally depending on your concept. If you have the very clear concept in the theorem part, then mathematical part is very very easier for you. And today our mathematical topic for understanding will actually discussing about Lamis theorem. If you can understand the Lamis theorem and why and how and which way Lamis theorem has been proved, then our mathematical part will be again very easy. Let's have a look about today's class. So dear students, according to our lesson plan, today we are going to discuss about some basic part of 8.2 and first mainly we will going for to understand the Lamis theorem. To understanding the Lamis theorem, we need to understand first the triangle's law of equilibrium. Triangle law of triangle's law of equilibrium what is actually this law has been expressed to understand this part we have to assume that three actually force will acting at the same point say for example that is the fixed point where there is working three forces say for example this is the force in this area actually p force has been acting on this word Q force has been working in this way and R force has working at that direction and all these three forces actually working on this point if it's happening then what actually we can say from that part we can say that this actually represents three forces in a triangles how here P force is working this word that means the force P has been working this word here Q has been working this way so we can write that this Q force has been working in this direction and R force is here that means the R force has working this word then actually we get a triangle okay this actually looks like a triangle and according to the triangle's law of equilibrium we can say that it is p plus q plus r is equal to zero that means the force of three is equals to zero since all of this actually represented the direction that's why this is a vector component so it should be p plus q plus r but my dear students we know from the triangle's law that generally two forces addition should be the equal to the third part isn't it if that we have to actually understand this triangle very closely that where the direction has been working here the p force is working this word q force has been working this word and r force has been working that word that is this flow is in the same direction that's why it should be zero to understanding this part very clearly we are thinking that say for example all the vertices are say for example a b and c okay so uh, we are just thinking that this uh, actually r forces are not acting this way uh, rather it has been working in that word if this then uh, here the flow has been going this word this word and this has been restricted so according to our triangles law we can write from here that is P, P plus Q should be R. P plus Q should be R because now we are thinking that R is not that way, rather R has been working in that word. Okay. To understand this part very clearly, we can write with this direction. Say for example, it is C A plus A B is equal to r that is cb okay now 
uh, actually taking all of that in the same side it can be C A A B plus C B and we know C B can be replaced by B C so C A plus A B plus it should be actually what since it was plus so it has been coming left side so now it is minus now CB can be written as minus BC now what's the value of CA AB and BC CA is actually the P direction so it should be P plus here it is Q because a b now it is b c b c so it is going this word that's why you have to write this is the our that r what force so we can write here it is equals to since minus minus plus r forces since all of these forces addition is zero then we can say that this is the triangle's law of equilibrium if three forces are remain on the same point then and if they are equilibrium then we can say the all the forces addition should be equal to zero or the sum of the forces is equal to zero so this is the law of equilibrium and from here we are trying to understand the lamis theorem clear so dear students now we are going to discuss about our main topic that is the lamis theorem what actually the statement has been talking about the statement of the Lamis theorem says that if three forces acting simultaneously at the point I mean at the same point along three different lines in equilibrium those three lines must be in equilibrium the magnitude of is forces of is proportional to the sign of the angle between the lines action of the other two forces that means the opposite of that forces so maybe you can't understand anything from this statement but I am trying to, to actually broke down all the points one by one here the question or the statement of the theorem of the Lamy says that three forces must have to be acting at the same point so our forces of the uh, equilibrium theorem or the triangle slope equilibrium uh, that was the same thing that we also working at the same point so here three force has been acting simultaneously at the point that means here this is the force P that's the force Q and here the force R so here three force are acting at the same point okay if this then this will be in equilibrium that means what if three actually uh, forces are remaining in equilibrium it remaining is we have already known that is actually p plus q plus r so this is actually given this is actually given because these three forces are in equilibrium okay if this then the magnitude of each forces is proportional to the sign of the angle between the lines of action of other two forces that means this force okay this force should be proportional to proportional to sign of the opposite two other two forces that means it should be proportional to sign of say for example this is the angle of alpha okay then q will be proportional to q is here so this is its opposite that means it is say for example beta so q should be sine beta and here r and this is the opposite so say for example this is gamma so r is proportional to sine gamma okay and from here what we can write actually from here we can write this is actually p should be k sine alpha that means p over sine alpha should be k then q equal to k sine beta that means q by sine beta should be k 
and r equal to k sin gamma that is r over sin gamma should be k okay since all these three ratios is equals to a same constant part so we can say actually from these three parts is finally p over sin a I mean sin alpha q over sin beta r over sin gamma. So actually this we can write this line according to our Lamis theorem. So actually Lamis theorem is something like this and this will be happening on that times if if p q are in equilibrium clear okay maybe one question arise in your mind that why we can line uh, we can write this part and what's the basic relationship with this part with the triangle's law of equilibrium to understand that part we have already known from here we can write a triangle and that triangle looks like uh, that part it was p then that part it was q and that part that was r and since it was p uh, and q the angle was gamma so pq angle should be gamma then qr the angle of qr is alpha and rp rp the angle was beta okay from here we can write this is the angle this is the angle it can be written as 180 degree minus alpha uh, gamma it is 180 degree minus alpha and this is 180 degree minus beta okay from here from here we can write another line and that line can be written as just i am erasing up to this part because you have already understand this part but this line will be remaining okay and from triangle what you can write Okay, so from here, from here we can write according to the sine rules. We know the sine rules. So from this triangle, according to the sine rule, we can write that our this P force should be actually P is this force. So the opposite of that force is this. So sine 180 degree minus alpha Q force here the Q force. So no relation with that. So it should be sine. 180 degree minus beta and r force r force that this force no relation with this angle so it should be 180 degree minus gamma with sine okay so my dear students we all can understand i think that how actually from this law of triangle if we use from here because all these three are remaining equilibrium part so from here we can also prove the lamis theorem too so uh, in both way actually this or this we can solve the or we can understand the Lamis theorem so mainly our Lamis theorem is this but if anyone write this way it is also correct because we know that this is actually sine 180 degree minus alpha that means it has been remaining actually 180 degree minus alpha it has been remaining in the second quadrant that means from here we can write it is actually p over sine alpha q over sine alpha no ratio will be changed because it is 180 and it is in the second quadrant and it is actually the positive of sine that's why it is the sine should be remain positive so finally we get the lamis theorem okay so my dear students that was the lamis theorem and converse uh, theorem of Lamis so the Lamis theorem converse proof should be actually the different thing that is this part will be given and from here we need to prove we need to prove actually P plus Q plus R equal to 0 from here we need to prove this if we can going for that way then our converse theorem will be also proved so that is our basic concept of Lamis theorem now let's actually solve a math from this part so dear students our today's problem regarding actually Lamis theorem is example one the question says the forces PQR 
these are the forces acting at the vertices of ABC of a triangle ABC okay so they are acting on the three vertices along perpendicular to the opposite sides respectively are in equilibrium then we need to prove P is to Q is to R equals to A is to P is to C okay to understand this we need to actually draw a figure first okay our solution should be like that way so for example here our question says uh, we need to draw a first triangle that is a b c triangle and from these three vertices we have to actually draw three what three perpendicular from these vertices so uh, from a we draw a perpendicular on the other side from b and say for example from c so we are drawing the perpendicular okay so all of these actually the perpendicular that means all of that are the 90 degree okay now here all of these three can be denoted by p q and r so say for example this is the side where p has been working here q has been working and on that line q r has been working now our question says if these are in equilibrium that means all are actually equilibrium that is the p plus q plus r should be zero if that then p is to q is to r equal to a is to b is to c we need to prove okay for this what we can write we have already given a triangle we had drawing three perpendicular has been given so we can uh, give a name of that say for example this is actually a d b e and c f okay and now what we can write from here we can write so since p has been working this way so we can say that p is working actually this word q is say for example here and r say for example in here okay so why we are going for that word because we need to write something according to the Lamy's theorem what you can write according to Lamy's theorem according to Lamy's theorem what you can write here our P force has been working that word so the opposite should be this so P over sine this angle that is D say for example that is the point is O so D O F then the angle Q over here is working the angle so it should be that angle that is D O F uh, it was E O F sorry it was E O F that angle and it is D O F this angle and R R is angle working that word so it should be this angle that is D O E so according to Lamy's theorem we know that force is proportional to the opposite angles or the angle which will be creating others too so R should be creating the P and Q is this angle so it should be P over sine this angle Q over uh, sine this angle and P over e over sine that angle okay from here we'll uh, now we'll just going for a quadrilateral now from from quadrilateral f o e a what we can write since these two are the perpendicular that means these two actually the 90 degree so we can write that these two should be 180 this angle and this angle should be 180 why because all of that four angles summation should be 360 already this and this has been creating what these two opposite angle has been created 90 and 90 180 so that must be actually this angle and this angle should be the sum of that two should be 100 so a angle plus uh, here e o f these two angles will be creating 180 degree. why because we have already known that 
this two I mean BE is perpendicular on AC and OF perpendicular on AB okay from here we can say that our this angle that is EOF is 180 degree minus a angle okay so what should be this this angle is 180 degree minus a so this angle should be 180 minus b so similarly angle dof should be 180 degree minus b and this angle i mean doe should be 180 degree minus C angle now if we putting all of these three that is this this and this in equation number one then what we will get if we putting all of that value in here then we can write we can write P over 180 degree I mean sine 180 degree minus a angle then q over sine 180 degree minus b angle and here it should be r over sine 180 degree minus c angle okay so uh, because we have already found these three values just putting all of these values in here now if we calculate then what we can write from here we can write obviously it should be p over sine a q over sine b r over sine c okay we can write p over sine a q over sine b and r over sine c so now we have found last this line okay so what is the formula of the science rule we know the sign rule is so we can write from here that from sign rule from sign rule a over sine a b over sine b c over sine c so if we giving this as 2 and this is our 1 then from 1 and 2 what you can write from 1 and from 1 and 2 what you can write we can write by this and this p over a q over b r over c that means p is 2 q is 2 r should be a is 2 b is 2 c that's our required proved so just we have used this and this and just comparing these two part we have actually written this part so this is the end of our today's math so dear students hopefully this lecture will be very very beneficial for you uh, since today we have been discussing our, some theorem as well as one math regarding on sign rules i mean the lamis theorem so hopefully this lecture will be very very crucial for your understanding the next mathematical problem so that's all for today thank you